calculate the current through the 4 ohm resistor in the circuit shown applying current division rule so there is a 4 ohm resistor in this parallel combination and we have to calculate the current through this 4 ohm resistor applying current division rule so let us mark this current as i1 and we have to calculate this current i1 so by using current division rule so in order to apply current division rule so we know the equation current division rule according to current division rule current through a branch branch equal to total current into opposite branch resistance opposite branch resistance divided by sum of resistances sum of resistances so opposite branch resistances are given here we can calculate the sum of resistances what required is the total current i so in order to apply current division we should know the total current i so first of all let us calculate total current i of this circuit so total current will be equal to total voltage applied across the circuit divided by total current sorry total resistance or equivalent resistance of the circuit equivalent resistance of the circuit so total voltage is given it is 50 volt so now let us calculate equivalent resistance of the circuit so if we examine the circuit we can see that these three resistors are in parallel 3 ohm in parallel with 4 ohm which is in parallel with 5 ohm and this parallel combination is in series with this 2 ohm and this 0 0.1 ohm resistors so equivalent resistance will be the sum of 0 0.1 ohm plus this 2 ohm plus parallel combination of these three resistors 3 parallel to 4 parallel to 5 so let us calculate the equivalent resistance of 3 parallel to 4 parallel to 5 so we know 1 divided by r equivalent is equal to 1 by r1 plus 1 by r2 plus 1 by r3 so 1 by 3 plus 1 by 4 plus 1 by 5 we will get it as on solving it 1 by 3 plus 1 by 4 plus 1 by 5 we will get the value as 0 0.78333 so that is 1 by r total so r total or equivalent resistance of the parallel combination of 3 ohm 4 ohm and 5 ohm will be reciprocal of this value and that will be 1.2765 ohm so equivalent resistance of the parallel combination of these three resistors is 1.2765 ohm and total resistance of this circuit will be equivalent resistance of this parallel combination plus this 2 ohm plus this 0 0.1 ohm that is r equivalent is equal to 0 0.1 plus 2 plus this parallel combination is equivalent 1.2765 the answer will be 3.3765 ohm so we got the equivalent resistance total resistance of this entire circuit so now we can calculate the total current flowing out of this source and that total current will be total voltage divided by total resistance that is 50 divided by 3.3765 and the answer will be 14.808 ampere okay so now we have got the total current for this circuit as 14.808 ampere so now we have been asked to calculate the current through the 4 ohm resistor in the parallel combination current through 
4 ohm and we have marked it as I1 and according to current division rule current through a particular branch is equal to total current into opposite branch resistance. So total current we have calculated as 14.808 ampere into opposite resistance. See here the resistance we are considering is this 4 ohm resistor and opposite branch means there are two branches this 5 ohm and this 3 ohm and they are in parallel. So we have to take as the opposite branch resistance we have to take the equivalent resistance of these two parallel branches. So opposite branch 4 ohm branch is the branch that we are considering and as the opposite branch there are two branches this one and this one and they are in parallel. So opposite branch resistance will be equal to the equivalent resistance of the parallel combination of these two resistors. That is op opposite branch resistance become equivalent of 3 parallel to 5 divided by sum of resistances. That means resistance of the branch that we are considering that is 4 plus resistance of the opposite branch. So again opposite branch resistance means 3 parallel to 5. Okay. So what is the equivalent resistance of 3 parallel to 5? Equivalent becomes R1 R2 by R1 plus R2. 3 into 5 divided by 3 plus 5. That is 15 divided by 8 which is equal to 1.875 ohm. So now substituting it here, we will get the current through 4 ohm resistor as 14.808 into 1.875 divided by 4 plus 1.875 and the answer will be 4.726 amperes. So this is the current through this 4 ohm resistor. And similarly, we can calculate the current through this 3 ohm resistor as well as the current through this 5 ohm resistor. So, let us do that also. So, let us mark current through 3 ohm resistor as I2, current through 4, 5 ohm resistor as I3. So, how will you calculate I2? I2 will be equal to total current into that is 14.808 into opposite branch resistance. So when we are considering the current through this branch, opposite branch means these two branches and they are in parallel. So we have to take the equivalent of these two branches as the opposite branch resistance. That is 4 parallel to 5 divided by sum of resistance. That is resistance of the branch that we are considering plus resistance of the opposite branch. That is equivalent of 4 parallel to 5. Okay. So solve it and calculate the answer. Now how to calculate I3 current through 5 ohm. Similarly total current into opposite branch resistance. So when we are considering this branch, opposite branch means 3 and 4 in parallel. So 3 parallel to 4 divided by sum of resistances. That is resistance of the branch that we are considering that is 5 plus opposite branch resistance that is 3 parallel to 4. So likewise we can calculate the current through all the resistors in the parallel circuit.